Welcome back to the Tim Yap Show Season Fresh. Uh, here in our show, we have a deep admiration and respect for people who have paved the way, who have changed history and are changing history as we see it, as we know it. Itong next guest natin, isang kaibigan ko, matalik kong kaibigan, who embody exactly lahat ng mga sinabi ko kanina. Kasama natin ang youngest fi- elected female mayor of the country in the history of the Philippines, my dear, dear friend, Mayor Pai Alvarez! Hi! Hello! Mayor Pai, okay. So, um, let's go back to, uh, you know, the time that you were elected. Again, uh, as I said earlier, I have, uh, I super respect uh, and admire you because you've changed history in history of the Philippines. Ikaw ang pinaka-youngest elected female mayor. You know, Thank so, you. kakatapos mo pala mag-aral, nandun ka na sa election. You're on the election trail, you're going on the mga barrio-barrio, nangangampanya ka Actually, na. Actually, I was just a senior in senior college. Senior in college. And I campaigned. How was that? Anong feeling nun na parang uh, from campus to barangay's uh, campaigning? Well, I, I really loved it, Tim. Oh. I mean, I went to school in Boston and I was working for Chanel at that time. So I wasn't only working, I was studying and campaigning. It was From the Chanel stores to the, the barangays? Yeah, from the Chanel stores oh. to the coconuts. To the coconuts, so <laughs> CC pa rin naman. CC pa rin. Diba? Iba lang yung coconut. Oo, oh, 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 iba lang stand ng letter C. Oo, oh, diba? Pero pagkatapos nun, um, you were really immersed uh, within uh, your your city, you know, yes. within San Vicente, which I have been fortunate to to have visited and napakaganda ng natural beauty ng ni Pai, ni Mayor Pai, at ng San Vicente. And what's great, if I may say, no, uh, in the beginning, ako muna, kasi <laughs> nakita ko, and alam ko how you're doing things right. Kasi in the Philippines, maraming uh, sa pagkama, pagmamadali natin, to progress. Marami mga things na hindi nagawa ng tama. So, I know that you've been active in attending mga global forums on environment. Um, bakit, where's this passion coming from? Well, I, that's a very good question. I think... Um, Pajen? <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, I think it's really important. Um, with anything that you do, um, you have to take your time. You hmm. can't rush things, especially with working for the government and um, working for our residents in San Vicente. I serve a whole um, bunch of people and I need to be careful in my decisions in um, all the programs and projects that we do. If, if we don't study it correctly, if we don't approach it correctly, um, the consequences could be you know, bigger than life itself. So again, with developing um, a tourism destination like my town in San Vicente, it is very crucial to take the right steps. And lately, it's been getting a lot of press. Uh, it got the front page uh, in the Inquirer. And there's a lot of features about, I know that uh, of, of um, uh, various real estate companies and, uh, and big uh, compa- uh, companies that na, na they've invested within San Vicente to make it like a global tourism yes. uh, destination. Gano katagal yung pinoproject nating uh, uh, time before it becomes fully developed? Well, Tim, right now we are finishing our airport. It's mm-hmm. gonna finish by the end of 2014. Wow! And by 2015, you can go there direct from Manila. Yay! By the, uh, by the start of 2015, we, were, we will be uh, Operational. And you know, uh, two years ago, we were talking and you told me that, uh, you know, Tim, our vision is we are going to have an airport here. And now, bago matapos ang taon na to, nandiyan na. Nandiyan na, yeah. I mean, airports, infrastructure such as roads, um, water systems, oh. we are all laying the proper um, foundations for a really good um, tourist destination.